Hey guys, this is a walkthrough of the setup on my 991 GT3 2015 with lightweight bucket seats. The setup is a um, Cantrell Motorsports bolt-in um, half rear cage um, as well as uh, Schroth uh, GT3 specific six-point Profi 2 harnesses. Um, the anti-sub uh, belts are mounted to a GMG anti-sub plate, which has been installed. Um, as you can see here, everything is finally completed. Um, this is the passenger side, which has been opened up to allow the acceptance of the harnesses. What I'm going to do here is open things up and move the harnesses out of the way. You can see that everything can be tucked away pretty easily, moving everything back through the shoulder points. As I move to the lap belts here, what I'll do is just kind of fold them out behind the back of the seat and do the same thing with this and move that back. So with this, you can still use your three-point harnesses so you don't look like a moron driving around in six-point harnesses on the street. One difference with the new lightweight buckets is that the on the old GT2 buckets, you could actually fold this underneath the bottom of the seat and have it lie down in front of the seat. But because there's this big fold over here, the length on this is not long enough to allow it to come out through the bottom of the seat. So can't really stow this away um, like you were able to with the GT2 bucket seats. Um, so in terms of flipping this out, I'll kind of pull this cushion out of the way here. We'll lift this up on here and you guys can take a look at what we did here. Underneath here, you can see this is where the seat occupancy detector bladder is. This is where the harnesses are going through the pass-through. I am going to push this sorry, through. And now you can see the seat is lifted up. You can see through here where the sub belts are and you can see where the cut has been made through the bottom of the seat to match what has been done already on the driver's side. If you look underneath here, this is where the anchor points are for the GMG subplate. Um, you know, the, the setup works pretty well on the driver's side, but on the passenger side, there's actually a lot of hardware underneath here. And there's a bar that you can't really see underneath here. And the issue with that is on occasion when you are sliding the seat back and forth, these buckles will get caught on the bar which will sometimes hinder your ability to move the seat forward and back. And then you have to go underneath, move the buckles out of the way of the bar, and then the seat will slide nicely. Um, that doesn't seem to be an issue on the driver's side, but on the passenger side, because of all the extra hardware underneath, it does become an occasional issue, um, but really not too big of a deal.